And those are my seven, yeah, ten. I think this is a very ambitious goal. I'm just gonna take a little bit of coffee. <laughs> What is up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about my 2021 goals. This is in multiple fronts financially in terms of my business aka my YouTube, blog, Instagram, all of that as well as my personal and career goals for my career as an OBGYN. Okay, so without much rambling, let's get right into the video. Before we begin, I want to remind all of you that if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please do so in the subscription box down below. Also, remember to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, social media in general to stay up to date with everything that I am doing. And also, if you enjoy these type of videos, please give them a thumbs up. It does help my channel out immensely. And leave a comment down below with what your 2021 financial goals are. So. Let's start off with my financial goals for 2021. Um, I have five of them. So one of my goals is that if interest rates do remain at 0% beyond January, then I would really, really like to pay off one to two of my student loans, which would be the ones that have the highest interest. That would be a $5,000 loan that I'm currently paying off, which has probably around $4,300 left and then a $10,000 loan that I want to pay off as much as I can from it because it does have higher than a 5% interest rate. So hopefully with everything that is going on in the government right now, we will be able to achieve this goal and have them extend the 0% interest rate a little bit further. Next is I want to increase my monthly savings. So I am currently saving about $600 a month, half of which mostly goes to our down payment fund and then half of it goes to my emergency fund. I kind of play with the percentages depending on the month. And then I want to increase that by 800, or I want to increase that to 800 every month by the end of the year. So starting in March, I'm going to increase $50 into my savings every month until I reach the 800 a month. In April, I want to increase my contributions to my Roth IRA to 400. So currently, um, if you watch my budget video, which I will link over here in the cards, um, you will know that I am currently saving about $300 every month directly into my Roth IRA. So I want to increase that to 400 and then eventually to 500 in order to be able to max out my Roth IRA before I get an attending job and then an attending job and then I am unable to contribute because I will be over the limit and I would have to use a backdoor Roth. I want to be better about my personal spending. So between miscellaneous buys, eating out, personal spending, um, I'm spending total probably close to um, $600 about every month between all of those things. And I want to decrease that to about four to 500 total. And that would free up the extra money that I need so I can increase my savings and also increase my Roth contributions. And then uh, we are saving for a down payment for a house for the near future. So I want to have at least $13,000 in my down payment account by the end of the year. So I'm giving myself a lot of time to be able to do that just because sometimes things happen, unexpected expenses can happen here and there, so I want to give myself plenty of time to achieve that goal. And those are my five financial goals for 2021. Then moving on to business goals, so these are a little bit more flexible just because I do this as a hobby, I eventually want to make it into a business, but right now I have to focus all of my or most of my energy into my OBGYN training. So I will try to dedicate as much time to this as possible, but sometimes that's just not feasible. So the first goal is that I want to post at least twice a month on YouTube and on my blog. So I'm going to do this by I usually have at least two free weekends a month, so taking one of those weekends to doing batch content creation so I can make most of the content for that month during that one weekend and just have everything set before it's actually due and try to maximize my ability to 
that way maximizing my time into being able to create content and also spend time with my husband do the things that we want to do and also study and dedicate time to my job so that is the plan so i plan to be posting at least twice a month here on youtube and then kind of have the same content over on my blog to kind of make my life easier instead of having four different types of content to create i can have two to three different types of content and kind of make it all be cohes cohesive and kind of blend together then i want to increase my youtube subscribers we're currently at 320 which is amazing i am so grateful for each and every one of you so i want to increase our little family to 600 subscribers as well as i'm almost at 2000 subscribers on or followers on instagram so i want to increase that to 2500 by the end of the year so i'm giving myself the whole year to achieve this goal and kind of working hard towards achieving them then i am working on creating an online course i want to dedicate more time to do that this year i kind of schemed out everything that i want uh, over quarantine and then just kind of put it aside and haven't touched it in a while but i really really want to go ahead and create this for you guys if you have any ideas of what you want an online course to be just leave it down in the comments below i will read all of them and reply to all of them as quickly as i possibly can so the next thing is i wanted to create more digital products i am currently working on a budgeting workbook i also have my mentoring program right now which I launched earlier into 2020. It didn't go as well as I expected it to go so I'm kind of hoping to promote it a little bit better and hopefully get two mentees for 2021. This program is basically to help you guys prepare for residency applications throughout the whole process and have someone that you can turn to. I can help you with proofreading, I can help you through your timeline, getting letters of recommendations and everything like that. We'll have multiple Zoom or FaceTime meetings to kind of go over everything that we need to. Throughout all of my like side hustles, so affiliate marketing, um, selling on Poshmark and thread up cash back from Rakuten and all of those things I'm really hoping to be able to make at least $500 um, I did do that over in 2019 and then 2020 I kind of slapped off everything there was a lot going on so my um, that those side hustle that side hustle income kind of decreased significantly so I kind of want to bump it up again. And then I also want to increase my lead generation over on my email list by 100 um, subscribers per month by the end of the year. So I'm currently getting probably around 20 to 30 people signing up to my newsletter. And then I want to slowly increase that to hopefully reach about 100 people every month by this December. I think this is a very ambitious goal because it would require me to spend a lot more time working on my newsletter. but. I think if I plan my life or my time accordingly, I can maybe achieve this. So this is the last goal because it may or may not happen, but I, it's something that I would really like to do. And those are my seven business goals. Yeah, ten. Seven business goals for 2021. I'm just gonna drink a little bit of coffee. And this mug is just awesome. My mother-in-law, sister-in-law, and father-in-law gifted it to me for Christmas. It says, I deliver babies, what's your superpower? And I think it's just amazing. Moving on to the next goal category, which is personal and career goals. And I have seven in this category. So Kriegs are coming up next week. And I've done me. I'm really not good at standardized standardized tests so i've always struggled a little bit i also haven't dedicated as much time as i have over 2020 and in the recent months to study for creox so i'm really really hoping to do better in creox this year i also want to buy the acog prologues which are like question review books um, from acog for our board exams so I'm going to be buying those in the next couple months. It's $600 for like six or eight books. So it's pretty expensive, but it's definitely worthwhile. And I kind of 
want to start preparing for that. So one of my goals is to land a job. <laughs> my first real, real attending job before the end of the year. I have been talking to recruiting agents since um, 2020, since about summer. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a job sooner rather than later this year. Also want to meditate more. I've really gotten more into meditation in 2020 and it's something that has been really good for my mental health and my overall wellness. So it's something that I want to do more consistently in 2021. I also want to, I, I began manifesting things into the universe and I really want to focus on that this year. I really want to manifest the life that I want and I think that we are all energy beings and we can attract into our life whatever we want and whatever we put out into the universe so i want to focus on that this year i also want to eat a little bit healthier so one of the things that i want to do is incorporate whole food plant-based meals into our diet at least once a week i really like the mediterranean diet but there i see also the benefits of doing a whole food plant-based diet so i really want to incorporate that little by little into our diet i don't think we will ever go completely whole food plant-based but definitely incorporating it into our lives is gonna be very helpful. And then the last thing is that I want to do yoga. Um, if you remember, I was doing yoga every day while we were in quarantine. So I want to do that at least twice a week. It's a little bit ambitious because I know my schedule and I know how I am when I'm really busy, but at least I can try. And those are my seven personal and career goals for 2021. So it seems like I have a lot planned for this year. I just bought this awesome planner by this company called Leaders in Heels and it's absolutely amazing. Really excited to get it. I will do a planner flip through whenever I do get it because it's pretty cool guys. It helps. It's basically a life planner. It helps you with everything that you need and the best part is that it's unnumbered. So it comes blank. You put the numbers into the calendar spaces so you are not bound by one year. You have, if I suddenly forget about my planner for three months, I can retake it where I left off and did not miss any pages and maximize the use of the paper that I have. So I am super excited for that. I will definitely let you know what I think when I get it. And yeah, what are you guys' goals for 2021? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know what you guys are working on. That is it for this video, you guys. Please remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram, everything else. You guys know I love you. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.